I send out my ninjas, and he sends out a Metacham. I protect, he ice punches. We had a little misunderstanding about this at first, as uh, when we first started, I accidentally brought two HM slaves to the battle, so we had to restart it a couple times to uh, get the original start that we had before I uh, messed up. So thanks to him for understanding and uh, allowing us to work something out. I sub up, he kills the sub, I protect again, and then I pass to Metagross for the plus three speed. Takes the ice punch well. And uh, now it's thinking about uh, stuff it wants to do. I Meteor Mash, and it takes it down, and his Focus Slash keeps the guy alive. He Drain Punches, which is a new one that I've seen. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't drain enough, and uh, it fears the Bullet Punch right now, which he knows is coming. He switches out to Skarmory, which takes the Bullet Punch, and uh, no, that wasn't very productive for me at all. So now I'm fearing a Whirlwind, but as there's no spikes or anything up yet, I don't really care if I get blown away. So, I bring in Starmie, and uh, now he's going to fear the T-Bolt, so I'm going to rapid spin on turn one. He brings in an Umbreon. There's the spin, blow away the rock. And uh, I don't really want to stay in versus an Umbreon, so I decide to bring in my Ninjask back and try and set up some. He curses, and uh, well, let's see, what is it that I do? I substitute, get plus one speed, curse. And uh, I decided to get my Swords Dance now. And uh, this is where I made a mistake right after here. The sub died, yeah, that was expected. But I thought I got more speed than that. It was only two. I needed at least plus three, if not plus four, but oh well, my mistake. So this will be interesting. Uh, as he got plus two defense, I got plus two attack. We'll see what happens. Dynamic punch it down, and uh, he told me to hit it to six. I got a little bit of luck there, 50% chance to hit himself, and uh, he kills himself with that. So, I ran a damage calc on that. It's got a 50 to 55% chance to live the dynamic punch in this exact scenario. So, it's pretty cool. Sends in uh, the meta chain here, and uh, I don't really know what move I want to do. Any one of my moves is going to kill him. So, I used Stone Edge. I forgot that it wasn't super effective, or it wasn't even neutral. So, I was lucky that lucky that it uh, wasn't very effective. Intimidate cuts my attack, so I'm only at plus one, but Dynamic Punch is still just going to be beastly enough to destroy the Tauros anyway. So, it dies, and then uh, Porygon Z comes out. So this is where I thought I had plus three or plus four speed, and I didn't. He Dark Pulses, which is a surprise to me. I flinch, and uh, I knew he was Scarfed, obviously, because he was faster than me. So, I decided to stay in, in Dynamic Punch again. Skarm comes in to take the hit and uh, gets confused as well. Now it's really close, but I don't know if Machamp is going to live another switch in later on in the game, so I'm just going to go for it, see what happens. You know, hits it down to a couple hit points again, and uh, for the second time I get the 50% chance in my favor, and Skarm goes away as well. Now this time I know I can't stand versus Porygon Z, as now I know it's faster. It shouldn't be my mistake there, but it is, so oh well, it happens. Switch in Bliss, takes the try attack and then we move on from here. Uh, let's see, Machamp is awesome with Ninjask and he's awesome with Paralysis support So make to make sure everything else is extra slow and then just Parafusion for the win. So I decided to T-Wave up around this time. Fortunately I got a Dragonite T-Waved and uh, I don't know if it wants to Outrage or whatever the hell it wants to do. Hell, it might even DD, I don't, I don't know. But I bring in a Grim Reaper because I know he'll stay around for a while. Takes a Dragon Claw though not as friendly as I would have expected, but as I know I'm faster, I can pull out a couple of ice punches here, and that should do nice work to the Dragonite. It took a lot more than I originally thought, but still died, and then uh, looks like he dies from a life orb. That's probably why the damage was a lot more than I expected at first, the life orb. Porygon Z comes in, and uh, now I know it carries Dark Pulse, which some do, but it's probably the not too common on it. So I switch to Bliss, which takes whatever it would throw out, which it picked T-Bolt, and uh, from here on out, the rest of the battle is just Seismic Toss, T-Bolt, Seismic Toss, T-Bolt, boring, 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 but that's how it goes, T-Bolt again, and I get paralyzed, so a little bit of luck for him, but unfortunately it didn't come at the right time, so it doesn't really help, doesn't really count there, Keep continues Seismic Toss, it's a critical hit, more luck that doesn't really count, because it was at a bad time, so... Once again, for the third time, I leave somebody at under 10 hit points, but whatever. I'm still hanging around, and uh, Seismic Toss to finish it off. So, 
That was a great game on uh, both of our parts. Thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you check out my other hits. Peace.